Hey friends, hope everybody's having a really good night or maybe a day if you're watching the replay, but I got some really strong encouragement for you today. Over the past few weeks, as I've just been spending extra time in prayer and preparing different messages for different things, that the Lord has been really showing me some strong insight. And I want you to know this, God has a perfect place prepared for you. Think about it. God has a place prepared for you. And over the years, um, I've been in ministry and I've been really helping a lot of people. And even with the Roar Apostolic Network and, and our church, Roar Church Texture Canada, a lot of people have said over the years, I just like, I, I feel like I don't fit in. I've gone to a lot of churches or I've been a part of a lot of ministries and I've never found the place that I fit in. And there's so many different reasons that a lot of people in life haven't found their place. But I just want to start breaking a few things down. And as I start talking about this, hopefully some of this will be highlighted by the Holy Spirit in your life and it will help you move forward in the things that God has for you. One, let's just talk about the, the right geographical location that you need to be in. And we're going to talk about Joseph and, and his father Jacob slash Israel. And I, I love the part of the story when when Joseph had, had told his brothers to go get Jacob and, and bring him into Egypt. And Joseph went to Pharaoh and said, hey, I would like to put my family in Goshen. And the Pharaoh was like, man, Goshen is the greatest piece of land that we have. And so Joseph was able to put his, his father and his brothers and his family in Goshen. And it talked about how it was a great land. It was a land for the herds. And you know, their family were, were herders of cattle and sheep and goats. And so it was the perfect place for them. And the great thing was, is the Bible says that when Jacob and, and all of his family, Joseph's family, as they went into Goshen, that the land that they left, Canaan, actually became a wasteland. And what you have to understand is you have to listen to the Holy Spirit because there's a lot of times that you're in Canaan and it may sound like it's okay, but God is trying to lead you to a Goshen. Now remember also in Goshen, when all of Egypt was going through the 10 plagues, they didn't go through them. And whenever darkness filled the land in Egypt, not in Goshen, there was always light. A lot of times people aren't in the right place that they need to be in because they do not listen to the Holy Spirit. I find out so many times people say, oh, well, the, the, the Lord spoke this to me, and then they change their mind the next week. Listen to me, friends. God does not change his mind like that. That is, people who are unstable or emotional are kind of like the Bible said about Reuben. You know, he's like a reed just shaking in the wind. But a lot of times you may be in a Canaan, which may be an okay area, but when God wants to move you to Goshen, he has something better for you. Now, they didn't know things were going to work out like that. They had to believe God and trust God. And a lot of times people are in the wrong place because they don't trust God enough to step out in faith. And I'm telling you, if you're in Canaan and God is telling you to go to Goshen, it's going to be better. It is going to be there. And did you know in that story when they moved into Goshen, you know, Pharaoh said, what do y'all, what do y'all do for a living? They're like, well, we're, we're herders, you know, we're shepherds. And he's like, that's great because I've been looking for some shepherds. Now I'm going to put you in the best piece of land, put all your, your flocks and your herds there. Now I'm going to give you a job to oversee mine as well. Man, they were blessed by the highest person in the land. So what you got to understand is follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. You ready? Sometimes the reason you're not in the right place is because you've been disobedient to move. A lot of times, you know when people should move because they complain about everybody around them. I remember so many times in my life, I've counseled people and they're like, I don't like my pastor. I don't like this person. I don't like the youth pastor, the worship person. I don't like this, this. I'm like, then why don't you move? Why don't you go to a church you do like? Somebody said, I don't like my boss. I don't like my director. I don't like my manager. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. I said, maybe you're feeling uncomfortable because you're in Canaan and it's becoming a wasteland to you. It could be a Goshen for somebody else, but God has something better for you. I've seen so many people, and I'm a prime example. My wife and I have stepped out on faith in so many different areas of our life, and God always made it work out. Did it work out the first week? Lord, no. Did it work out the first month? Never. Did it work out the first three or six months? Doesn't seem like it. But you know what? It always worked out in the long run. And I love my life and where God has for me. Second part of this 
is it has to do with your gifts, your talents, and your abilities. Now, understand this. I went to an elementary, a, a junior high, a high school. Um, I went to a college and got my basics. I went to another college and, and did a lot of seminary. And then I went to another school, six schools before I got my, my first degree. So what you got to understand is there's a lot of times you may work in different places until you hit your end result. There's a lot of times you go through different churches and ministries to find different things. You learn different things in different places. Why? Because the Bible says there's nobody perfect. No, not one. So if there's nobody perfect, that means there's no perfect church and there's no perfect job. So you move around and to learn different things. Why? Because God has given everybody a gift or gifts talents and abilities. And you go to different ministries, you go to different businesses, you go to different schools to fine tune your gifts. A lot of times you go to one ministry or a business to learn a certain trade. Then you go to another one to learn a different trade. If you, if you operate in a lot of different gifts, you're around different types of, of people. And that's what I love about fivefold ministry. You have five different types of ministry ministering to so you're just not getting just a pastoral ministry or apostolic ministry or teaching ministry you know you have the fivefold and so what you got to understand is pray and listen to the lord because there's so many frustrated negative people out there in the church world and it shouldn't be like that you know i tell people all the time that if you don't love sunday morning something's wrong with you sunday morning is a celebration at Roar Church, Texarkana. If you don't like the apostolic network you're in, get in the right one. Listen to me, friends. I've got two men that speak into my life, and I am 100% satisfied with both of them because they will speak the truth to me. I absolutely love the church that we have. I love the people in our network. I love that my wife and I are health coaches. I love everything about my life. But I'm telling you, it took me a while to go from Canaan to Goshen. I made a lot of hard decisions in my life. I did a lot of stuff that made no sense in the natural. And listen, if everything in your life makes sense in the natural, I promise you something's wrong. You got to be able to step out on faith. You've got to be ready to do some things, make some bold risks. You, you got you to gotta chance some things in life. You got to go for it. You know, the Holy Spirit's not going to take you on the easiest journey of your life, but he will take you on the best right of your life. When you go to the fair or Six Flags or Disney World, the ride that takes your breath away, it wasn't the easiest ride, but it was fun. That's how life is in the kingdom of God a lot of times. So understand this, never stop moving forward. God has a place prepared for you. God has a place, a Goshen for you that everything in the world could be wrong for a lot of people, but it's going to be good for you. You have a place. Listen to me, friends. You have a place that you're going to be in the right church, in the right job, married to the right person, moving and operating in your prophetic destiny. You're, there is a place that you can go to where you're going to see things fulfilled in your life. And a lot of people think that that's a fairy tale. That's a pipe dream. I'm telling you, I'm living in it right now. And I am so thankful for it. But I'm telling you, it came through a lot of hardship. It came through a lot of wounds. It came through a lot of battles. I've had people that I thought were spiritual fathers and spiritual sons stab me in the back. I have went through physical adversity, financial issues. I have I've went through so many different things. But you know, going through the different tests and trials put me in the right place. So never be afraid to, to go through something because you just don't go through it, you grow through it. And I'm telling you today, please listen to me. God has prepared a place for you. He's fine tuning your gifts that when you get to that place, you're just not blessed, but you are a blessing. He's got that right spouse for you. He's got that right job for you. He's going to put you in the right church or the right ministry. And you know what? If you can't find what you're looking for, sometimes you're called to create it. I love our church. I love our network. I love everything that we do. And a lot of times I was looking for something and I couldn't find it. And God told me to create it. Remember, God has something amazing prepared for you. Don't quit and don't give up. Keep moving forward because God has something powerful for you.